So please don't spoil this week's episode of Vanderpump Rules for me because if you're watching this, I am three hours in the past from you or, or something like that. I still don't really understand how time zones relate to time travel. Well, greetings from a foggy, mild, somewhat drizzly California where the Pacific Coast, specifically the Southern Bay Area, is our setting. So one of the larger priorities for me over the next week, or few weeks, is building a broader marketing plan for our company with objectives like increasing awareness and thought leadership and secondarily lead generation. And one of the ways that companies like mine do this is by attending and speaking at and even sponsoring relevant events and conferences for the industry. Uh, I've been to and spoken to many of them, but planning an entire calendar for an entire year seems actually daunting at the moment. There are literally hundreds all over the country, many of which could add value. So the challenge now is working backwards, crossing off dates where my wife is on call and I have to dadder day parent, then crossing off events during pre-planned client meetings and presentations and travel, then crossing off dates when I have personal time off or other things happening. Then I look at the agendas and the attendees and the locations, then circle the places I actually want to be at key times of the year. Phoenix in August, no. Minneapolis in February, double no. So that really just leaves like 20, half of which are actually in New York. So if you are headed somewhere, please let me know and let's possibly coordinate, hang out and network and just have fun. So here's a practical money-making tip for airports. Put lockers in your terminals for passengers like bus stops have. Uh, you can do this inside the security check so you know it's safe and no one's actually gonna blow shit up in the airport. But imagine if you're flying from New York or someplace cold to the Bahamas or Florida in the winter and you don't wanna have to bring your winter coat with you. Coat check. Now I realize this service doesn't actually exist when I broke the handle of my rolling carry-on bag this weekend to JFK headed here to San Francisco. I bought a new bag in the airport, but I still want to keep the old bag to get fixed. I just didn't want to have to carry it with me. Now, there's no lockers. There's no way to check a bag. But thanks to Vanessa at the Voyager luggage store inside Terminal 4 JFK, uh, she offered to hold my busted bag for a few days until I get back. Now, let's just hope I arrive in the same terminal so she's not left holding the bag. So in just about two weeks time, my favorite sporting event happens to coincide with my favorite gambling event. That's right, March Madness and March Madness are just a few weeks away. And for those of you who don't know, which I have to think at this point is a very small percentage of you, I run a pretty big annual NCAA tournament pool. And this is gonna be the 26th year that I've run it. Uh, it's been $20 per entry every year. I take nothing off the top, but we break a record every year. It's very exciting for the most participants, and I'm hoping this year we'll keep the streak going. So while it is not open yet, you can definitely get a head start by watching lots of games, and if you save like one, two dollars a day between now and the start of the tournament, you'll be just fine. And get ready for the madness. So I did it, I caved, and I looked at my first set of polls for the 2020 presidential election. And honestly, I did not love what I saw. All the polls have Joe Biden up anywhere from five to 15 points. And look, I love Joe Biden, I always have. He's a professor at my alma mater teaching law and politics uh, at the prestigious University of Pennsylvania. But honestly, I'm surprised he's that far ahead. It's still early, I get it, and if he does run, and wins the nomination, I will support him with everything I have in my body. But at this point, I'd love to see someone under the age of 60 actually get the nomination. There you go, Air France. See you in Paris. <laughs>